17 years ago, when we started training students for say cyanide exam, we knew little. But over the past 17 years, we learned something amazing. We learned that CSIR net exam is not a regular exam. It's a battle. It's a competition. There'll be 80,000 people who will compete and hardly 0.1% people will get through in top-notch institutions as PhD scholars. Now, if you want to get there, then I believe this video is going to be a game changer. Because here, I'm going to talk about CSI net last minute revision tips and tricks. Now, I'm not going to, you know, repeat and say, just do more revision, do more practice. That's, a, that, that's very generic. You already know it. If that is the expectation you have, I don't think you should be watching this video. Today, I'm going to tell you out of the box strategies. Out of the box, box strategies to prepare CSI net in the last minute. Now, first things first, nobody can hand over a CSI net GRF to you. It is you who has to grab it. But these tips and tricks are actionable insights, which you, if you implement, are going to help you a lot. Okay, now let's talk about the first one, which is planning your revision. Now, obviously, I'm sure you must have studied throughout your preparation and now you are in your final stages. So you need to plan your revision. Remember, this is not the time to learn new things. You have to plan your revision. That's the first point I want to make plan your revision. So you have to have slots where you revision, revise and then you have to have slots where you practice the question. So the revision uh, slot, you have to decide what you want to revise and the practice slot, you have to decide what you want to practice. Okay. So that's the first point, planned revision. Now the second point is whenever you are studying or trying to recall or, uh, you know, trying to revise, compare and study. Now, comparison is always a core to your biological uh, studies. For example, gram-negative bacteria and gram-positive bacteria, the alpha DNA, beta DNA. So all these things are basically always in your uh, modules, if, in your syllabus that you have to compare and study. It's like mobile phones. So if you compare Android and uh, iPhone, what happens? You, If you remember one feature of iPhone, obviously you can recall the feature of the Android phone. Same way, if you remember one side of gram-negative bacteria, you will remember the part of the other side of gram-positive bacteria. So you have to compare and study. First point, revise and plan your uh, revision. Uh, the second is compare and study. Now let's jump to the third one, which is flowchart method. Whenever you are studying, create flowcharts. Whenever you are revising, you have to use those flowcharts. And if in case you don't have flowcharts or you don't have time to do, uh, you know, uh, draw flowcharts, you can always order one of them at Biotechnica. We call it as Conceptica flowchart book, where you get 100 plus topics, 100 plus flowcharts, which you can use to revise faster. So that's the flowchart method. Now let's move on to the concept cloud method. So what if I tell you that, okay, there are say 50 words shown on your screen, and uh, you look at the word and try to recall what exactly in that. So say Michael S. meant an equation. So you try to recall what is there, how to derive the formula. If I say catalyst, you try to recall that. If I say um, uh, co coagulation factors, you try to recall what are the factors, right? So this is how you actually devise that. So Biotechnica has a revision tool called as Concept Cloud, which you can use for that. So that is one amazing tool to recall faster, revise faster and get better in your studies. Let's jump into the next one, which is very generic, and that is previous year question practice. Now, previous year question papers are always there everywhere in the market. But one thing students forget is they should not just solve the previous year question papers, but also devise a methodology whether to pick this question, whether to identify which question is a trap question, which question is there, which will help me fetch maximum marks, which question will, you know, uh, cause negative marking. So that is also something which you have to practice whenever you are practicing PYQs. Okay. The next one will be mind map. Now, mind map is something wherein you have a central idea, then you connect it through various ideas. And it's just like neurons, right? Your neurons, how they're connected. So they're connected and have synapses. Same way mind maps have concept overlaps and concept synapses. That's how you can study. It's similar to flowchart, but not exactly a flowchart. But this is one of the best ways, again, to practice and revise in the last minute. This will also help you recall faster. And now the next one would be mock test. So you have several mock tests by several coaching institutes. Biotechnica has the All India Merit National Eligibility Test, that is AIMNET, which will help you practice better. Mock tests are there, AI powered. You can practice as many number of times. You will get a score in exam conditions and you know how much you are doing in whichever particular concept. So that's mock test. 
Let's move on to the next one, which is active recall methodology. So basically, whenever you're studying, so you try to recall, right? So during exam also, when you will read the question, you will try to recall. So basically, that is where active recall method will come into picture. Don't just study. Now you have to active recall. So open the book, look at the headline, close it, try to recall what exactly was there in that paragraph or in that concept. Similarly, I have you know shared more than 36 active recall methodologies. You can check Biotechnica's YouTube channel where we have that video. If you watch that, you will know how exactly you can do active recall to recall better and revise faster. So that's the point which I wanted to make. Then now the last point which I have for you is teach and learn. So you can reach out to some student or some uh, friend of yours who needed needs help and you can offer help by saying, okay, if you have any questions about biochemistry, you can ask me. So this, that particular friend of yours will ask you biochemistry question. While you're teaching, you will learn yourself. So this is all the points which I wanted to make. Last minute revision is very crucial. The more you dive in, the better you'll get in and you'll, you may get doubts, right? And that is where Biotechnica's Raftar batch comes into picture. We have this batch started from 17th of March. Every day classes are happening Monday to Friday for two hours every day. You can enroll here and you can get all your doubts clarified, all the concepts taught and all the revision done faster in a better scientific method. method. So this year, while you're trying to grab a JRF for CSANET, remember this fact that you can qualify CSNet only when you are different from the crowd. If you do the same thing what others did, you will just be below cutoff. If you want to be above cutoff, then you have to study scientifically, you have to recall faster, revise better, and of course, perform in the best way in the exam. And of course, Biotechnica has all these tools at one place. So what are you waiting for? You can enroll in Raftar Batch and we will guide you. So that's all for today's video. This, is, this was all about CSNet last minute revision tricks. And if you have any questions, put them down in the comment section. Want to enroll, you can always dial 1-800-1200-1818 or you can also email to info at biotechnica.org. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.